A ninth generation Philadelphian, Walter M. Phillips, recruits a diverse group of liberal reformers, union members, civil rights activists, and business elite. He had 80 people on the city policy committee, the Bureau of Municipal Research, Citizens Council of City Planning. These are all the creations of my father. He became really through these committees, the author, the architect, the director of the reform movement. There was an exciting, dynamic coalition who came together to make the city live up to its democratic promise. Phillips' coalition puts its weight behind two war veterans, Joseph Clark and Richardson Dilworth, to run on the Democratic ticket for city treasurer and controller. They were very different people. Clark was the cold intellectual, and Dilworth was the emotional, hot-tempered heart and spirit of the place. As candidates, they attract the support of young professionals, including a group of visionary women who reinvent the modern political campaign. They were pioneers, active day to day, on the street, organizing nonstop, and they were 24-7 people. We invented the street corner rally at which we went around on a sound truck and uh, summoned the troops and the organization, the independents, would turn out rather enthusiastic crowds. Natalie Sachs would be organizing on the street. Elise Balin was one of the key strategists. Ada Lewis created something that she called psychological political warfare. She got into the heads of her opponents. They broadcast their message over a new medium, television. Emily Jones put together a series of 15-minute programs for TV the theme was, let's sweep the bad guys out, and used a broom. They win in 1949. 